The next guest wants the president to take a cognitive test. Congressman Ronnie Jackson is a Republican from Texas. He's a congressman and he joins me now. All right, you were the White House physician under former President Trump. Why do you want this president to take a cognitive test now? Well, Stu, I was at the White House longer than that. I was at the White House during the Bush administration, the Obama administration, and the Trump administration. I was there for 14 years as a White House physician. I know exactly what it takes mentally and physically to do that job. And I think that it's on, it's on full display for everybody in the country and everybody in this world to see right now that President Biden does not have the cognitive ability to do his job right now. He's continued to get worse and worse. I sent a letter back in June of last year requesting that he have a cognitive test done as part of his annual physical exam. This was before he had his physical exam done. He recently had his physical exam done. There was, a, there was no mention whatsoever of any cognitive testing. And I'm, I remind everybody that we did this with President Trump. We set the precedent. We did this because of the outcry from the liberal media and from mainstream media and from the far left to, that, that the president should have a cognitive test as part of his evaluation. Yeah. That The precedent has been set and President Biden needs to step up to the plate. He needs to have this test done and they need to provide these results to the American people so we can have trust and confidence that, um, that he's capable. Uh, so Sir, is this the Montreal test? Is, yes, uh, it, is that what we're talking about here? Where it's a, a, a test for early Alzheimer's, that kind of thing. Is that the Montreal test? Did the President Trump take that? That's right. That's the one he took. That's the one that's most commonly used. It's done as a screening tool for people, uh, you know, just as part of their routine exam when you're older. Or if you if you have evidence of, of cognitive decline, it's, it's supposed to be included as a screening test to look for uh, objective evidence that you have some cognitive issue that needs to be addressed. And I think that President Biden is in that is in that category. Are you a little uncomfortable calling for this? Um, because we're really asking, is the president all there? Is he capable of doing his job? I mean, that's, that's what you're questioning, isn't it? Absolutely, but I'm not uncomfortable asking for that at all. This is an important job. I mean, you know, uh, we're, we're, this country's in crisis right now, internationally, domestically. You know, we're, we, we have this issue going on with Russia. We have China coming up. We have Iran. We have North Korea. We have all these issues. We've lost complete respect from our from our allies, and, you know, we've, we've emboldened our adversaries. Well, domestically, okay. this country's in, in, what in, would, in, a, in a... What would we do if he took the test and failed? Now. Well, then we would we would have to do something about it. Stu, the right time to address this issue is not whenever this country is in complete collapse. I mean, look at what's going on right now with crime and drugs here in the country. With the COVID, we see he still hasn't taken that and got that under control. The economy, domestically, internationally, we're headed down the wrong path. Bad things are going to come if we don't address this issue right now. And like I said before, Stu, I won't be the one talking about this in a year. It will be the Democrats talking about this because this is going to continue to get worse and they're going to have to step up to the plate and do something about this. This. I'm saying let's address this now before it's too late. All right, Congressman Jackson, you're, on a, you're delving into a touchy subject here, but we've done that before. And uh, mm. all right, we'll see where this goes. Congressman Ronnie Jackson, Republican, state of Texas. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you.